Welcome to the My Gaming Mart channel on YouTube. Today we're going to demonstrate how to flash an Ace Card 2i for it to be used on a DSi or a DSi XL firmware update 1.4. As you know, if you do buy an Ace Card 2i and it hasn't been pre flashed, this is what happens when you turn your console on. You get an error message. Now in order to circumvent that, we will demonstrate what you have to do. If you do end up purchasing an Ace Card 2i from MyGamingMart.com, they already come pre-flashed so you don't have to do anything. But just in case you haven't done so and you have a console that it was updated to 1.4 recently and your Ace Card 2i wasn't, then we will demonstrate today. First of all, you go to www.MyGamingMart.com, which is our site. Once you get onto our site, look under best sellers and you have to go to the Ace Card 2i page. Once on that, look for download firmware update instructions for your Ace Card 2i which needs to be used on a 1.4 DSi. Click here. So choose that. It will ask you to save a file. Opt to save it. You can save it wherever you want. I will do so today on my desktop. Once saved, you need to extract it, so it will be called AK2i Update. Right click and I'll extract here. It will create a new folder called AK2i Update. All the necessary files are in it. Now, the files that we uploaded include the official Ace Card firmware, as well as the needed software, which is uh, AK2i firmware update 14 dsl.nds now this is called dsl.nds because in order to do this uh, firmware flash for your ace card 2i you must have access to a ds light uh, the process takes no more than 20 or 30 seconds which i'll demonstrate in a few minutes um, we also have added a how to uh, file just in case you don't watch this video and you can just follow the instructions on that on how to do this firmware flash now connect your micro SD using a USB reader or an SD adapter to your computer or laptop so I'm going to insert into the USB now it will pop up as a removable drive and I'll open it now please be reminded that the three files that, that are needed must be placed in the root of your micro SD now you might already have downloaded the official firmwares uh, underscore AK2 and AK menu. So if you already have that on the root of your micro SD, then you should be okay. But since I don't, I'll add them as well. Now you need official firmware 4.21. You can use anything below that. Now I'm dragging the AK menu. And now the most important one is this flash update. Uh, NDS file that you also need. Uh, this one is of course the DSL file because we'll be using a DS Lite to do this today. Once everything is on the root of your micro SD, you can pull out the USB reader from your computer or laptop and I'll demonstrate how to flash your ACE card to I. Now mygamingmart.com is an authorized a dealer for Ace Card. Uh, we've been in business with them for a while, so be assured that we do carry genuine flashcards. Uh, this one is a genuine one. Uh, we also have a hologram on the back, back that depicts that it's from my gaming mart. Uh, if you guys do purchase from us, make sure the hologram stays on just in case uh, this flashcard fails on you. We do give a warranty. Now, insert the micro SD. Now, I'm going to use the DS Lite, insert it into the back. Now you boot up your DS Lite. Choose uh, Ace Card 2i from the menu. Uh, choose uh, micro SD by pressing A. A is for enter. Now uh, what we're looking for is this particular file. It's called the AK2i FW underscore update underscore 14 underscore DSL for dslide.nds. Uh, select that it'll load up. Now follow the on-screen instructions. Uh, first of all, it'll tell you that before update, please eject the card and insert it again. It's just simple. So what you do is just uh, pop it out once. You don't have to even take it out. Just click it back on again. 
and then it tells you press B to continue. So I'll press B. Now it just gives you a little warning, just you know, it says that this may damage your Ace Card 2i. It hasn't done so so far, so rest assured it's not that scary. Um, it then asks you, are you sure you want to continue? And if you want to abort this, then you press any other key. But if you do want to flash this flashcard, then you press start, which I'll do so right now. And it will start updating. It says do not turn it off, so do not turn off your console till it reaches the progress reaches 100%. So. doesn't take very long Once the progress reaches 100%, I'll let you know that update is done. Press start for the next card if you have another one, or just reboot the system. So I'm going to reboot the DS Lite. Um, I just do this just for because it asks you to. Um, you don't have to, but just start it again just for one second just to see that it does load up. I'm going to turn off this, and I'm going to demonstrate that now it will work on a DSi or a DSi XL 1.4. Now I'm inserting this into my DSi Excel console. Turn this on. Just want to show you guys one more time that my DSi Excel is at 1.4 right there. And I'm going to return to the DSi menu. Now because this has been flash 1.4 it will appear as a Danny Phantom. Uh, urban jungle. Uh, the reason Danny Phantom appears is because that's the exploit used in order for this flashcard Ace Card 2i to be used on a console, DSi console or DSi XL console that's at 1.4 uh, firmware update. Okay, so don't freak out about that. So select Danny Phantom, and there you go. There is no error message. I'm going to demonstrate a backup ROM that I have already on my micro SD, so I'll select that. Uh, I'll choose because my folder is called backup ROM and I'll run it for you right now. And there you go. Um, that's that's how you update a Ace Card 2i for it to be used on a 1.4 console. As always, uh, we do not support software piracy, so do buy the games that you like and do play it safely and enjoy yourself. And as always, if you have any questions or question or if you need an answer, just feel free to email us at info at mygamingmart.com. And if you ever need any support or if you wish to buy another flashcard or any other console accessory for your consoles, feel free to visit www.mygamingmart.com. Thank you.